prime dilemma. Somebody's attachment control switch pack gets pulled out of the multi connector, and you got to figure out how to get it back together again. Usually, this wire loom, the outer loom, is gets pulled in too far and that puts some pressure on it and pulls it back. So what we're gonna do today is gonna get all the way back here. Loosen this up enough that we can pull some of that slack up through it. Move those cable ties first. All right, yeah, that's fine. Just everything. Alright, now. Wire out here. And these wires are all numbered. Yeah. Right, so right there's number three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This, <laughs> since this was pulled out, they lost the rubber plug and this adapter ring. So make sure when you go to put back together again that you have all the parts. And an easy way to get these parts is to buy the whole kit, which is part number A36869. Was an adapter go from the old style attachment control switch pack to the new style, which goes through the multi connector? We stopped that so we have all these parts when we need them. In this case, we only need these parts. So the nut goes on first. It's a common thing for me to forget until I have it all back together again. So you see how that loom wants to push this thing forward, which kind of pulls it out. So in this case, I'm going to cut a little bit of that loom off because I can't get it fed back through there. And it's not good to have too much of that loom on there. Was it Mac or Matka? Oh. Which, hey, comes, which guy comes in? Oh, the Mac, like. Matt guy, Mac, Mac. just the Mac guy. Okay, oh, strap like <laughs> now we're ready. Nut goes on first. All the way. Good idea. <laughs> This little friction thing. Yeah, that rubber's bad, so I'm gonna take this one off since this one's here to use anyway. It's the nice part about it, getting the kit is you have a lot of those little hard to find parts. Now the old kit, the wires were all color coded instead of having numbers on them. So that is a different chapter itself. We have we have that capability. And the other thing that was lost in this one is the spring itself. Or is it? Nope, the spring's still in there because that cap, if you look that cap pops out, the spring's still in there. Right. Okay. So. Go. You always want to make sure that you have your battery disconnect switch unplugged back by the machine where you'll have sparks flying. Okay, so the idea of trimming that back is if you have enough wire here so you can tell the numbers. And you probably can't see it, but the numbers 
are on this block. Very hard to find some magnifying glass makes it helpful. So Two, one. So in this case, the green and yellow wire goes in the center. Nope, it does not. It's, that's the green and yellow wire is number seven. It goes in the side right there. And we have two. One goes in the center. Here's where a little needle nose pliers can come into play. So this groove lines up with the groove on the bottom of that block. I don't know if you can see in there or not. If I shine a light in there, there's a little plastic mold that will slide, that will position this uh, I think I found rubber it. cap. <laughs> Quite personal. So just put it down in there like that. Shove it up in there. Tighten the nut. And as you can see, the prongs will come, come up in there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then this little flare, when this nut goes on there, it tightens down on that flare and tightens down here on the cable, keeps it from being loose. All right, that's pretty much the ski. We'll take care of the issue, so we should test it. Uh, I gotta get the loom back.